Welcome to the Six Traits of Executive View. I'm Blair Cook. And I'm Jen Nicholson. We're both many times CFOs and partners at Executive Finance. Do you want to know the secret of what it takes to become and succeed as a financial executive? We'll tell you what those secrets are in a moment. Does your career sometimes feel like a long random walk? Do you feel frustrated by the lack of promotions when everyone around you seems to be getting promoted? Now for many of us, the early years of our careers were focused on getting graduate level studies behind us, maybe getting a professional uh, financial designation. Not to mention some work experience. Really, any work experience. Yeah, definitely. And with formal education behind us, we moved into the ranks of middle management where we honed one or more technical areas toward mastery. Controllers master accounting. And financial analysts master financial planning and analysis. Treasury people master banking and financing. You get the idea. But somewhere after spending a decade in the workforce, some of us are going to aspire to play an even greater role, but perhaps lack the understanding of what it takes to get to that next level. The problem is, there is really no roadmap that guides you through this journey. Some of us arrive at the corner office faster than others, and some never arrive at all. Why is that? It's typically not your technical competency, but is usually related to the softer, more polished qualities that you're missing. What is holding you back are some of those things you may not even actually be aware of because they're kind of said behind closed doors and not shared with you. Things such as... He's brilliant, but not well liked. Just doesn't connect with people. Or perhaps maybe something like always looks a little you know, nervous or maybe stiff in conversation and in presentations or comes on way too strong and really needs to dial back the intensity. Or perhaps maybe it's they don't dress well or the clothes don't fit well. I don't have that problem. No, you don't. Or perhaps they're easily distracted and go down into the weeds with far too much information. Very common challenge for many financial professionals. And perhaps it's even this one. They lack the confidence and come across as tentative and, and meek. The six traits of executive presence are the difference between a financial professional and a financial executive. For a financial executive, it's accepted and expected that you have mastered your technical competencies. It's also assumed that your enabling competencies are well honed. What will ultimately differentiate you is how you demonstrate each one of the six traits of executive presence. In this course, we tackle relationship building. Building strong relationships with loyal followers in an enviable list of contexts that can bring to the workplace expertise and business opportunities. Influencing decisions based on relationships and credibility. When we begin conducting business based on the relationships and the connections we have with our contacts. Consciously developing deeper relationships with people through proactive relationship management. If you've listened to us this far, we believe you are one of those self-motivated financial professionals and looking to accelerate your path to the corner office. Join us now to learn more about ways to build stronger relationships.